Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're talking about Brian Ortega versus Diego Lopez. Brian Ortega, 16 and 3, 2 and 3 in his last five fights, plus 155 underdog, 33 years old, 5'8 with a 69 inch reach. Fighting Diego Lopez, who's 25 and 6, 4 and 1 in his uh, last five fights. His one, last loss was Mavzar Ivalov, where his stock went like this, and Ivalov kind of went like this. Minus 180 favor. This is obviously a rebooking. They were supposed to fight the night that Dan Ige stepped in on, what, three hours notice? Crazy. 5'11 with a 72.5 inch reach. 3.5 inch reach advantage for Diego Lopez. 3 inches in height again as well for Diego Lopez. So the interesting thing with this fight, as we take a look, Average is 12.47 for Ortega with 7.28 for Lopez. Three three inch reach for Lopez, but it's like three, it's three and a half. Here's where it's interesting. Strikes landed per minute, 4.7 to 3.24. Accuracy is 38 to 55 for Lopez. Absorbed 6.54 to 4.08 for also, for Ortega, he gets hit a lot. Defense is 49 to 39. Here's where the fight where I want to see the fight. Takedown average for 15 minutes is 1.17 to 0.33. Accuracy is 27 to 25. The takedown defense is 57 to 46. Submission average for a 15 minute fight 1.2 to 3.7. So even though Lopez's defense is at 46, sometimes he's okay with getting taken down because he goes for over three and a half submissions a fight in 15 minutes. Now Brian Ortega clearly has the advantage on the on the fighters that he is fighting. That is clear as hell. It really is. The question is, is can he start a game plan, start a fight, not get dropped, get put in trouble? Can he do that? Because I think if Diego Lopez is able to catch him, hurt him, he finishes Ortega. That's personally what I think. I think Ortega is healthy wise better grappler, a better grappler. I mean, his nickname is literally Triangle City, T City. It's what it is. The problem is he gets dropped quite a bit in his fights. He gets dropped. If you look over here, knockdowns. Yeah, you're one knockdown. Um, bup, 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 bup. Clay Guida got a knockdown, which is ridiculous. But he gets hit a ton. I mean, significant strikes. Yair, 55. Yair, the first fight, 23. Volkanovski, 214. Um, for Volk, yeah. Um, da, 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 da. Max Holloway, 290. Edgar, 27. Swanson, 60. Renato Mercano, 109. Guida and him were tied, which is wild. Diego Brandao was 56. Tiago Tavares, 41 to 39 for Ortega. It, it's so wild. So, if you look at the wins, Ortega has three takedowns against Yair, three against Chan Sung Jung, none against Edgar because he's able, able to finish him, none against Swanson because he got the two geek guillotine or the uh, Dars and then the guillotine. Dars at the end of the first round. Marcano took him down, um, and then he got a guillotine from the second takedown attempt. Uh, Brando took him down, and then he got a triangle. Alvarez, Tavarez took him down six times. Got also got a knockdown and a submission attempt for Ortega. His last couple wins, he's gotten takedowns. The Chan Sung Jung ones, he got three takedowns. Striking looked okay. He won that. Fought again a while later after two losses against Yair. Yair. And won, uh, he had three takedowns, and he won. He looked pretty good. Now, Diego Lopez, in the last fight with Danny Ye, started to get tired. That third round, he didn't look as good as he had in the first or the second. He started to look not great. And I think that third round is where Brian Ortega can do a lot, a lot of good work. His Danny Ye, again, third round-wise, oops, actually right here, Third round was 20. Oh, yeah, Danny Gay was 25 of 41, 60%, 15 of 37, so way less accurate. 
way less accurate. It had a couple of, of submission attempts. It only says one. Okay, four minutes and six seconds of control time, 90 of 143, 67 of 103 for Ige, 49% uh, striking, significant strikes percentage to 54% for Dan Ige. So, can Ortega not get knocked down? I don't think so. And I think if he gets knocked down, it... If, if Brian Ortega can survive until later, oh, but also make Diego Lopez work, I think Ortega can do good work. The problem is, is getting there. I think Diego Lopez is able to hurt Brian Ortega, get him down to the ground, and kind of just beat him up. I mean, uh, Diego Lopez has three out of his last four fights are finishes, triangle armbar, and then two KOs back to back. Not against great guys. Again, Brian Ortega has the advantage of fighting better guys. Now, his last couple wins. I know people are high on Yair Rodriguez. He's not that good. I'm sorry to tell you. Not very good. He hasn't had a great win since the Frank Yedger. Because he was the first guy to, to crack that jaw of Frank Yedger. No one else had done that. Clearly. Um, I gotta go. Ugh. God, I don't like how Ortega is in the first round. I got to go Diego Lopez. I want Brian Ortega 100% to win in this matchup, 100%. Again, I just don't think, especially early, that he can make Lopez make a mistake and capitalize on it. Of course, if Lopez continuously puts his head in a bad spot and his neck in a bad spot, he can get a submission. Of course. I just, I don't think Lopez is going to do that. Again, I like Brian Ortega early, but I like him late. I'm sorry. I like Brian Ortega late. I don't like him early. Because if you look at it, you know, the year fight, even when he won, even when he won, you know, um, ba, 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 ba. distance overall. Ortega was 13 of 50 at distance. At distance. 92% to the head for Ortega. But Yair was 20 to 14% on the body and the leg. Um, uh, let's see. 61% at distance for Yair. 46 for Ortega. 16 at clinch. 21 on the ground. 46% on the ground. And there wasn't much in the third round because, you know, obviously. But I, I really, really worry on if Ortega's defense is going to be better in this fight. And I, I just don't think it's going to. I'm picking Lopez to win. I just think he, he comes out too explosive early. I want Ortega. I'll be rooting for Ortega. But I just think... Uh, Diego Lopez is too explosive early on. And as always, guys, subscribe, like, comment, and let me know your predictions down below. Peace.